Hey guys, it's your favorite Unc here. Go ahead and click that subscribe button below so you don't miss a single episode of Nightcap. That button right here. Come for the sports, stay for the stories. Ocho, beef is heating up. Drake responds to Rick Ross' no job claim Warren's rapper after this. Don't worry, we'll handle it. Ross uh, unreleased his own, unleashed his own Dizzy Dish track. Champagne yeah. moment soon after Drake's push, push-ups drop and give me 50 leaked on Saturday. On Ross's diss mm. track, he called Drake a white boy, claims he stole his flow from Lil mm. Wayne, says he employs ghostwriters, and alleged he has cosmetic surgery, notably a nose job. This caused De- Drake's mm. mom to text him wondering why the internet is saying her son Alves has a nose job. I can't believe you would get one without me because you know I've always wanted one, Drake's mom. <laughs> text. In response, De- Drake quipped, I would have gotten us two for one deal. If I went, Ma, he continued to know job room is coming to Rick Ross guy. I did a song. He's going loopy off weight loss drug. Majorno. He has not eaten in days and he's turned a little angry and racist. He's performing at proms for money. It's bad. <laughs> Drake also hinted his next yeah. ly- lyrical salvo will be fired directly at Ross. Don't worry. We'll handle it. Mm. And tag Rick mm-hmm. uh, at Rich Forever and said, you're uh, the one nose. You're one nosy goof. Hey, I, think they do- I like it. <laughs> well, yeah. I like it. I'm not I'm not sure how everybody else feels in the chat, but I like it. For hip hop, I like it. Future, Metro, uh, the the weekend also I think has something to do with it. Drake, Ross, and the thing I like about Drake and Ross is we already know y'all got crews, you got you got people that could take care of stuff in the street. They not doing it that mm-hmm. way. They doing it where it matters. It don't matter how many trophies, how many times you've been platinum, how many accolades you have, what you've done, how many... Con- None of that matters. When it comes to that pin and there's beef, they handle it where it matters most for us as fans mm-hmm. of hip-hop. In the booth. In the booth. It's... Uh, K-Dot started it. J. Yeah. Cole followed up, later apologized, said, this ain't in my heart. This ain't what I want to do. This I don't want to be a part of this. Yeah. Drake said, yeah. Drake dropped and give me 50. Drake went out of my light. Mm-hmm. Drake, you know, people try to minimize Drake because I guess he ain't grow up and he ain't, you know, got all this. But, hey, Drake had some bars. I right. like Drake. Ross came back. Yeah. <clears throat> Ross had some nice. Hey. I, I like it. I don't know how true mm-hmm. it is. I don't know if they just tried to put hip-hop mm-hmm. because they said hip-hop was dying. But... They got, yeah. they got him. Oh, it's a, oh, it's, it's well, it's well in the live right, right now. now. This is, this, this is, this is a, a hip hop Royal Rumble, a hip hop civil war, whatever it may be. However many parties are involved, but Ross and Drake, this, this right here, the, their creativity, their creativity in their art in pin is going to have everybody on pins and needles waiting to hear Drake's response. Yeah. So this is the thing about it is when Drake responds, Ross going to respond too. And both of them have great penmanship and creativity when it comes to the yeah. art of making music and it comes time to talk about somebody. I, I like it. I like both of them as artists. I respect both of them as artists. You know, I, I'm just, I'm hype. I just don't man, know man, when it's going to come out. they all teaming up on Drake though. Oh, they, they, they all teaming up man, on Drake? You know, everybody, uh, uh, K, uh, Ross, K-Dot, uh, uh, mm. I mean, it's like like fifty like fifty guys coming at Drake. See, I don't I don't understand. I don't know where everything is stemming from. For me, on the outside looking in, I'm just hearing the finished product and saying, "Oh, so and so on on Future's album was talking about, you know, uh, the big yeah. three. And then I'm like, "Well, who the hell is the big three? And then people kind of it was cold. It was I guess it was supposed to be cold. K Dot and uh, uh, Drake. Yeah. So you boom, know you what, somebody Wayne, had to bring Wayne in, Wayne in the category Weezy Weezy in the category by himself. Right. Yeah, yeah. Right, so right, he, he, so I, he right people had to bring me up to speed. So once they brought me up to speed, okay, now I understand what's going on. Okay, now I understand who the big three is. Okay, now I understand what K dot with the words he was saying in the, in the song. Now I see what the meaning was. So then I heard Drake respond, "Oh, size seven. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's so you ain't so running nothing in a man's size seven. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So n- now, now it's all making sense to me, and it comes full circle. So boom, I hear Ross this. Okay. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Boom. I like that. Now, Dr- you know, Dreezy, Drake, 
done said, you know, he he on Instagram and say, boom, I'm finna Drake come back with, at you. Drake said a little shot at a uh, uh, jaw. At jaw, ja, ja ja who? Yeah, For real, yeah, man. But but Ja, he just played basketball. What y'all got to do? The Hooper it? out there busting out the gritty. I know why you're mad, Ian. I ain't tripping. If it's reported oh, must, that he they must, had he, interaction he must, with. He, he, a young lady. Now that's what's being reported. I don't know, and I hate that I even brought it up because I. Wait, 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 wait. What you, 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 you know he, he, he must hit. He must. I mean, one, that's he that's what's being reported. That's girl, what's huh? being reported. It ain't about being reported. We I don't know what it is. is. I wasn't we, there. I, you don't have no. to be there to, to listen to the words. Do you listen to the words? This is what I he know said. why you mad. He said, "Shout out to the Hooper out there busting out the gritty." I know why you right. mad, and. I ain't even tripping because remember okay. when Metro Boomin said stay, he said Ja, ja also said stay on that side. Right, right. So because right. you know how it is, don't you? When you tell it a joke, yeah. if you grin, you in. So that's all I'm Ooh. saying. So if somebody yeah. tell a joke, they get yeah. one up on me, you better not laugh. Right. Because if you laugh, that means you part of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But you, you you know what happened, especially when you're talking greasy, like when, you, when you're talking special like that, you know, with it being Drake, obviously being a lover boy that he is, there might have been somebody job ja might have been seeing. And we listen, Drake, 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 get who, whoever, whoever, what you? Yeah, come on, let's go. You you know what it is. I mean, common sense. So you're able to speak and rap right. like that. But again, I'm waiting on Drake's response. He already had one happen, response. Ross. No, he didn't oh, you he wanna, respond oh, to Ross. Ross. You want to respond to Ross? Ross. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, he got to respond to Ross. Yeah, and yeah, then, yeah, and then yeah. Ross going Ross going to double back right. and hit him, and then Drake going to come back. Listen, this shit might go. This shit might go all the way to goddamn summertime. <laughs> it, it might. It might go all the way to summertime. It yeah, it, yeah, it might. It might because it, it's the no, the penmanship and the creativity between these two artists is phenomenal. It's phenomenal, and they they can they can go for days. And listen, I don't care about who got more money. I don't care about accolades and, and, and numbers and streams. I don't care about nothing. I ain't care about none of that. I care about the penmanship and the going back and forth and showing who has the better creativity and the better pen. That's all it come down to. For me. For me. Everybody else in the chat, they might feel, you know, and, and want to bring up other stuff that really doesn't matter and has nothing to do with what's going on right, right now. Well, I'm excited. It's uh, uh but because everybody, everybody great. Hey, hey, everybody great on that mic. You know, they talk like Joe uh Jake got ghost riders, but at the end of the day, you still gotta you gotta you gotta sell it. I don't know if he got hey, great got ghost riders or not. I yeah. got a question. I'm glad you said that. Now I'm I like rap. I'm not a hip hop head to understand um when someone has a ghost rider or they say someone else wrote for right. you. Why did that so frowned upon? In 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 the hip hop space, but when you have R and B, you have writers for R and B, you have writers for for gospel music. Why is it so frowned upon in hip hop when someone has a ghostwriter? I'm confused. Oh, Joe, they're just like, hey, if you bought that, you're supposed to become up that thing original after Dome. It's supposed to be it's supposed to be you and your words about what you do, and not somebody else, not you. It's kind of like it's kind of like comedians. They frowned upon if right. you got a gross right comedian. If you don't come up with your own jokes, because I've had people on this and nah, hey, I might have somebody help me uh, right. craft the joke so I get it better. But as far as okay. just writing a joke and then me going out there and executing it, nah, I don't do that. But some people like, hey, I ain't got no problem with it. To each his own. Okay. Okay. I got it. I got it. I mean, I, I just, I'm just, I, I don't know. It just, I, I, I understand in a sense in a sense, but every other genre of music has people that help them write and create mm -hmm. stories, you know, and the people that are doing the writing aren't good enough to execute it. That's why they are the writers. Right. And sometimes, listen, I'm, I, I, I guess, I guess some of the best that are rappers don't have ghost writers, but everybody's not able to execute. Everybody's not able to write and execute and do everything all in and one. Perform. Except, yeah. you know, a, a certain few. I'm Jay. I'm sure Jay Z can do it. I'm sure Lil oh, Wayne yeah. can do it. Um, you know, but I don't know. You talk about him. Either way, way you talk about, I'm just when you start talking about when you start talking about you start getting with with Weezy and Pop and Big and Hov and M. Bro, you yeah. now you talking about you know now you getting on up there. Uh, yeah, guys like Big Daddy Kane uh, on the mic. Mm -hmm. uh, guys like that. KRS One. That's that a lyricist. Yeah. 
uh, uh, rock him. Mm-hmm. Now yeah. you talk about lyricists, guys that really, that's how they started. You know, Big Daddy Kane, mm-hmm. uh, KRS One, Rock Him, lyricists, really with that. Uh, but to each his own. I don't, I don't, like I said, I don't, hey. I like it. If it sounds good to me, I, I don't like give a damn where it came from. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, don't care, I don't care who yeah, wrote yeah, it. Yeah, I don't I care. care less. I just, I, 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 I like, I like, I like this, 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 this beef or exchange of pleasantries between two of the greats at what they do. And Ross, I know you're gonna see this. Do what you do, Drake. I do do what you do. Do what you do. I'm 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 back here. I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it. Yeah. Let's go. I'm all about it. May the best pin win.